Hello friends, welcome to another vlog. I am here today with a good mail day. So I thought I would share that with you. It's Saturday. I went to lunch with my mom today because um, I haven't seen her in a while. So we met up in the middle of where we live, um, like between where we live, not in the middle of where we live. <laughs> so, and then we went out and went to a garden center. So I actually ended up getting her her Mother's Day gift, which is awesome because then that's dealt with. So yay, but it kind of did eat up my whole day. I got home about half an hour ago chilled out for a little while and now I'm ready to sell. Let me show you what we got for mail day. Okay, so my water. <laughs> um, I bought a case for my iPod earbuds. I can only wear these for like an hour before they start earning my ears, but an hour is better than nothing and they're great for taking meetings in the car, but I got a case, which is not part of what I wanna show you, but they, they randomly sent me this thing that says, keep fucking going. <laughs> it's like a little charm. And I'm taking this as a sign from the universe to not give up on these sleeves, which I do have an update for. Um, Red Threaded sent me, and by sent me, I mean I purchased and then it came in, <laughs> this beautiful busk that she found one more of. Um, otherwise it's sold out for a Regency corset, um, quarter corset usually. So she found one more and I managed to snap it up. So I'm really stoked on this. So next time I make a corset or if I have to unpick my my busk out and wash it or something I can put this busk in. I got a card from Bernadette with a cute little note on the back. Um, so this is her Lady Sherlock um, and I'm making the Watson 4 so I'm working on this bustle over skirt for that today. Um, so yay this is gonna go up in this room somewhere. And then I got this book called Hats and like someone and I don't remember who was talking about this book on their Instagram stories because they were like trying to make one of the crazy 18th century hats with a boat on it kind of situation um so I ordered this book and it is beautiful with like all kinds of different hats um and like movie hats and painting hats and just you know insanity so I'm pretty pumped on this book and I'm very excited about it Oh, I actually do have one more thing. So I went to see Claudine yesterday and I will have an update on the um, sleeve situation. This is the Mode in Costume by somebody Wilcox. This is a library binding, but she bought it from the library. Um, and she had a couple of these, so she gave me one. But they have all kinds of interesting style things for all history of costume. Um, in here, which just looks amazing. And she was like, here, I have an extra one of these. Do you want this? And I'm like, heck yeah, I want that. So I'm pretty pumped on getting this guy too. So today is a good day. Today is a good day for one more reason and I'll show it to you in just a second. And then the amazing thing that we have from yesterday is that I went over to Claudine's house and she spent three and a half hours drafting and redrafting and redrafting and redrafting a freaking sleeve pattern that would work. <laughs> so we finally got one that is mostly decent. So I am going to cut this out in mock-up form and base it into my dress just to make sure it's fine. And then I will cut out um, the lining. I guess the, the mock-up will be a lining. And then I'll cut out the actual pattern and then I will, hi kitty, there's my baby. Um, I will, cut the sleeves and put them in. And then hopefully all will be well with the world. I, this whole thing was a combination of me completely misreading what was going on. And I was like, how would I know? And she was like, you just wouldn't, like, you just have to know. And if you don't know, then you don't know. And I'm like, well, that's freaking awesome. So <laughs> um, that, and then the, the thing was just completely the wrong shape for me. Like I just, this is me, even though it's a size 22 or whatever the biggest size they have, which is what exactly fits me everywhere else, the sleeves just weren't right. And I don't have exceptionally chubby arms for like how much I weigh or whatever, but they just didn't work. So we got new ones and I can use this for every 18th century dress ever now, apparently. So we're going to give this a go and hope it's all good. But first, I'm actually going to go finish this bustle overskirt, at least to the point where like it has a waistband. Will you shut up? Mommy is filming. Um, <laughs> and then uh, it will have a waistband so I can put it on and then I can start working on the trim and stuff. So I'll probably get it at least to that point and then work on 
the 18th century to make sure the sleeves work out just okay and then maybe come back to this, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do is basically what I'm saying. We'll figure it out as we go. Okay, we've got this pinned to the waistband. We learned two dose lessons last time. One, when pinning, pin it to the back of the waistband because it creates this like, you can see how like a wrinkle is gonna happen when I iron it, right? there so I still stretch those out right before I iron it but it's gonna create that wrinkle no matter what it's better if it's on the back of the waistband than the front um, and I'm also going to go ahead and iron these flat so that they go into the waistband nicely but it's all pinned and ready to go I am gonna go to dinner with my husband now and then come back iron this and sew this waistband shut and we will have a functional skirt it's not bustled yet, that's gonna take some more time. I gotta put the trim on first, so. But I can start working on the sleeve over there and see see how that went. I need to get back to Claudine and let her know if it was a go or not. Um, and if not, then adjust the pattern a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that tonight, hopefully. No! So I'm done and this whole thing is on. And I realized I cut the whole waistband and I was supposed to fold it back at like J or whatever my number is. And I didn't do that. <laughs> so I was like putting on a mannequin. I'm like, this is really big. So I have to pick out this entire waistband and all the pleating and redo it on a smaller waistband. <sighs> okay, fine, 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 fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? Really? I'm like, why is this so big? Why is this slow? Nikes. Because that three inches is actually six inches because it's doubled. And I'm like, because I was like, this thing is enormous. What the heck? I might cut a new one actually out of new fabric because I think I like, this is too worn. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go do that. Okay, I got it all picked out, ironed back out, recut the waistband, re like did all the folding and whatever to the waistband, and I got it mostly pinned in except the part that I have to pleat. <laughs> I have to pleat. Like, oh, hang on. This much fabric into itty bitty living space. So I'm like, WTF, how am I supposed to do that? Anyway, I'm getting like loopy tired, so I'm just gonna stop and like chill and let myself sleep. So I will do this tomorrow when I am fresh and spend a few hours on it. I did grab my costume college packet. I did do my um, limited class selection. For those of you who don't know about costume college, it's costume college, costume-college.net, I think. And it's a thing that happens in LA, um, every like August or end of July and this year it's the end of July and it's like uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday plus like there are some things that happen either Thursday or Monday if you want to go on like tours or whatever and you can there's a bunch of unlimited classes which means anybody can go to them and they're just like usually there's a handout or whatever but it's not like a you actually make something class and then there's like a whole bunch of classes that are limited which means you pay money and you're gonna go home with something like you're gonna make something or whatever um, and you can only sign up for a, a certain amount of those and you make all these selections but you're not gonna get all the classes you want so for those of you who are interested <laughs> what I chose was as my first choice the 18 Spencer 18th century Spencer jacket with JP Ryan um, and feather um, also their fiber content and testing. The theme of the costume college this year is what's that fabric and I actually love that theme so I'm really pumped on like perhaps learning more about how to tell fiber content super easily and stuff without having to set stuff on fire because I'm really bad at it. See also my poly silk that I'm working on right here. Um, rotary cutter 101. I suck with a rotary cutter. Like I'm really bad with it. I can't even do straight lines with a ruler. Like I don't know what's wrong with me, but I want to go to this class to figure it out. Uh, sewing a corset flossing sampler. Um, I've done that with Kathy before. Um, I just, they had other different ones. So I thought I would check that out. 
the long and short of wool. So this is like all about wool plus like handouts and stuff, I guess, that um, are just going to get handed out. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do in this wool class, but I'm fascinated by wool. So thanks to Bernadette. <laughs> so that's, I signed up for this class. Um, Hands-on pattern matching, because never done that, and I'm um, terrified of it. And then making and weaving 1760s fly trim. Okay, so I think fly trim is weird, and I don't really love it. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if I, like, go and see all the ways to make it and all the ways it's used on stuff, then maybe I will start to like it. I don't know. I'm a person who, if I don't like something, I try to investigate it and figure out, like, why I don't like it or... If there's something about it I'm missing, that because everybody else seems to think it's awesome, so so anyway, I'm gonna like attempt to get these classes. I will probably get like three of these classes, so we'll see which ones I get. Um, I signed up for them in a weird order, which isn't actually my preferred order, but like this one, I think if I don't put this as number one, I won't get it. Um, even though I'm kind of more interested in the fiber content class than I am the Spencer jacket class, um, but I, as we know. I need a Spencer jacket. So maybe I'll make it in that class. Who knows? So I'll see I'll see what classes I get. There's also like this speed round of, of picking up classes after they've distributed them all so we can all try again essentially when they've figured out who's like rejected what class. So because you can also get your class and like decide you oh never mind I don't want to take that. So but these are all classes I would totally take. There's also like a million really awesome unlimited classes and there's plenty of times that I find unlimited classes significantly more interesting than limited classes. Hi, it's Sunday. Okay, so I already started actually and I got the waistband pinned in and then on. Um, I made this little pad out of broad, broad cloth that I'm gonna use to line my jacket bodice. Um, so that I could just iron right here. Uh, sometimes, like, especially when this was, like, super pinned, like, you don't want to move this to iron it. Like, putting it on there is just going to cause it to, like, half fall off and not be supported and blah blah blah. So, my friend, who was weirdly also named Noelle, um, <laughs> had a cutting table that was slightly smaller than this, but she had a giant board that was covered in broadcloth and then batting underneath. Um, so that she could just put it up on the thing and go ahead and just iron giant things of cloth flat on a giant table, which, you know, I'm starting to think is a great idea. So that might be a project that happens at some point. Anyway, this is all in and stuff. So I'm going to put this on my mannequin, pin it on, make sure the waist is the right size this time, and then cut out that sleeve and get going on that. Oh my God, it's finally time for the sleeve. It's been a week. Guys, I'm so excited. I have a sleeve that works. It's not like perfect, but it's pretty good and it works. Um, I don't wanna, I can't show you cause I have to, like I tried it on in my bra basically and it's not for the internet to consume that. Um, cause I don't have anyone to put me in my stays here. Um, but it's on and it fits and there's some poofy fabric in the back, which I don't love, but um, you can't, like, do this, <laughs> and, like, if you don't have that poofy fabric there, you'd, like, you need mo movement room, and I keep looking at people on Instagram and looking at the back of their dresses, and, like, most of them don't have very much of that, um, but they're also very thin people, <laughs> and very thin people don't need that much more room, and so... Those of us who are not very thin need more room, so I'm I'm running with this like poofy back of back back of arm fabric. Be damned, I'm doing it. So um, I'm gonna I base just basted this in to try it on and it works. So I'm gonna take it out and re-sew it so it's nice, and I'm gonna uh, pre-line the sleeve so that I treat the sleeve as one unit when setting it, so I don't have to set two sets of sleeves because ugh. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll go well. Guys, we have a sleeve. <laughs> I'm super excited. Um, this is it in. So I did this. <laughs> oh man, I've had a hard day with this actually. Let me talk you through it. So I did the uh, sample sleeve and decided it was good. Cool. I built this sleeve. It has it's pre-lined. 
so that I only have to set it once, as we discussed. I did the whole thing. It was ready to go, ready to go in. I realized I forgot this arm dart, <laughs> this elbow dart that's right here. Um, yeah, so I had to basically turn it inside out, figure out where the dart goes, and then put the dart in without unstitching these two things from each other while they were in circular. And I had to do it on both of them. <laughs> so, that uh, disaster was overcome, but it took for freaking ever because <laughs> like, I had to unpick some stuff because I'd already like sewed the edge together and stuff. Okay, so basically I'm going to go set in the other sleeve. Uh, I'm actually going to pick out all the easing threads and I need to put easing threads in that guy. Um, and then I'm going to set in the other sleeve and I'm going to call that whatever happens after that is gravy because I feel like this weekend was for sleeve setting and that will have been done. And I'm really happy with the sleeve. It fits really well. It's shaped really well. Um, I got most of the crazy fabric. I eased it in a lot back here. So there's only two tiny pleats back here. You can see all my basting threads. Um... So I feel pretty good about this guy. Uh, so I also watched Game of Thrones and Battle, Battle of Winterfell happened and damn. <laughs> no spoilers, but damn. Okay, I'm going to go deal with this and I'll be back for an end of night recap. We have two sleeves. Who's excited? I'm excited. I always think it's funny at rock concerts when people are trying to do this, but they do this because I'm like, this is I love you. This is rock on. This is I love you. This is rock on. Anyway, um, so I'm really pumped about this. Um, I might cut the lining out for the bodice um, because it needs to get done at some point. So I'm thinking I might have time to do that tonight. So I'm going to carry on. Hey guys, so just a quick update for Monday night. Um, I went ahead and cut out the lining. I'm having a hard night because it's super allergy season here and the trees are just dumping pollen like crazy. So I'm super itchy and my nose is running and my eyes are watering and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna call that progress for today and move on with my life and go like lay down and possibly go to sleep. I'm, I'm really exhausted. And not really thinking that sewing that is going to be a good idea when I'm super tired. It should go together really quickly, though. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, any progress is good progress. So I'm counting this as a win. See you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, kids. I am super shiny because I just did a facial treatment and I have oil all over my face. Um, <laughs> but today we are going to go ahead and sew this stuff together um, and make a lining. I am unclear about how that's going to go because Claudine had me like re-sew this seam a little bit tighter which caused a little bit extra to be here and I don't really, that wasn't exact and I asked her if she thought I needed to not cut my lining to the pattern and she said no no go ahead. And I'm like, um, how does that work? So, um, I, and there may be some fussing with this is what I'm getting at. This 18th century is really killing me. <laughs> um, it's going to be amazing though when it's done. So I'm excited about this fabric. People, people have been seeing it like online and saying what nice fabric it is and how good it looks. So I'm pretty pumped on it now. So, despite all of this, remember when everyone was saying, oh my god, you're going so fast when I was making all of Frilly Things February underwear stuff? And I was like, no, no, wait until I have to sew for reals. <laughs> like, outer garments, it's going to take me forever. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Okay, I'm going to go sew. I'll let you know how far I got. Okay, so lining is on. The seams lined up up here even though I thought that wouldn't work but it did um uh it's, this is loosely like based stitch so I'll probably go fix that before I put it on um but it all lines up just fine so and I did a casing so I can bone the the lining here um 
I stopped sewing for a little while to go talk to my husband because he was a horrible day and we went for a walk and then we watched American Gods. Um, so I'm a bit behind, so I'm gonna let this guy, oh, I need to press these seams open too. Um, I'm gonna let this guy go until tomorrow and then I'll sew the lining in. And then we will start the skirts, I think is the next part. Um, although I might not do it tomorrow. My friend and I are going to go see, I guess, the 42nd Street Broadway musical, but it's Fathom Events, like, on the big screen kind of situation, so we'll see. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Thursday. I am wet, red, and, like, shiny. Um, and not to take up too much of your time with this or get you too much into my business, but... Yesterday I was outside with my sprinkler guys trying to figure out all the stuff with the sprinkler panel and whatever. And I looked over and my water heater was leaking. So I called a plumbing company that my friend uses and they came right out and looked at it and they were like, yep, this water heater is 30 years old. We've never even seen one this old. So obviously this morning a new water heater went in. So that took them until about one or two this afternoon. I checked you know, a bunch of the faucets downstairs and stuff. But later, like around three or four, I came upstairs because they're like, wait a while and then take a shower. Cause you know, I had to wait to take a shower. So I was gonna do that. So <laughs> turns out my bathroom sink in my, I have a bathroom in my bedroom, doesn't exclude water. Exclude is a new word for me. It's a Noelism. Um, and then my shower I thought was working fine, but the guest shower doesn't work. All the toilets flush and the guest sink like I can run it forever and it gets hot water and everything and everything's fine. So we don't know what the deal is, but the guest shower doesn't work either. So basically I have no shower in my house right now. Water comes out of most of the taps, just not those three. And we don't know why. They're, they're all three upstairs and I have a feeling they have to do with a recirculator, but I'm not sure. And the fastest they can send, well, I can't stay home from work again tomorrow because I stayed home from work a bunch of days this week um, or work from home while I dealt with this stuff and I need to go in the office and talk to people. So I can't really stay home tomorrow. So they're coming on Saturday. So I can't have a shower until Saturday. So the reason I am wet, shiny and red is because I went down to 24 Hour Fitness, which is right down the street. Thank God I still pay that membership even though I don't go there um, because I took a shower there. And thank God I have water shoes because that floor is disgusting. Uh, I do have some awesome stuff to show you that came in the mail that pertains to you guys. So I'll give you a look at that. All right, this first contraption here is called a gimbal. You put your camera on it and it lets you have awesome smooth motion. I will insert a clip of me using a gimbal so you see how fluid that is. The reason I bought this is because I watched that New York video back and I was like, yeah, that's making me kind of sick. <laughs> um, you know, it's fine. It's actually fine. I mean, it's a vlog, but I wanted it to be smoother and stuff. So I got a gimbal and I've always wanted a gimbal, so that's fun. I got this guy, which goes onto my tripod. Um, I cannot extend this right now. Let me, I'll be right back. So it lets you take different angled shots and it holds the camera. But more importantly, if you can imagine this camera being right here, I can attach this and shoot straight down, which lets me do a flat lay. So that's cool, which means I can film myself working and you guys can then see that. Lastly, I got this contraption, which is you put on your tripod and then I can attach this thing to that. And if it wasn't rubber banded down, this little thing slides and lets you have like very smooth motion slides in your film. I don't really need a motion slide, but what this does do is let me put this on my tripod and then attach this to it. So if you can imagine the tripod is here, this is here, and this is here, which lets me take flat lays without having my tripod legs in them. So that's kind of awesome too. Uh, I've always wanted to get a better camera set up, so I'm pretty pumped on these. Um, yeah, so that came and then I got this pile of goodness. Let me set some of this up so you can see it and I'll be right back. So this is the type of thing that the gimbal lets me do, get a shot. like this, that's pretty smooth. I'm moving the camera all over the place. And it doesn't 
waiver, which is really nice. So while I would love to take this shot with a gimbal, I can't actually make it point down for very long before it starts to autocorrect itself up. So these are some of the things that I picked up, these fashion plates. They're very similar to those ones that are on my wall. Um, here's a few more. And there you go. And then I got a few more. If I can get them out, I will share them with you. And then we have this madness. These are all fold outs. And on the back is stuff too. Some parasols, jackets, hats. This one has these things. This one has some more dresses too. And then be still my heart, these. Oh my goodness. Like, I want this dress, and I want this dress, and I would totally use this dress, and I want this dress, and even that dress, and then this one for Christmas time, and then this one for my wedding, which I've already had, so I'm not gonna use it for that. And then this is my dream dress right here. Actually, it's like one of 50 dream dresses, so let's just like tone that down. But, and then these guys, like, oh my goodness, you guys. I don't have any space on my walls for any of these. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think that guy's gotta go. I love that. That's a comic book by Joss Whedon. And um, I know the inker for it, Andy Owens, he's a friend of mine. And um, Carl Moline is the pet, the guy who drew. Um, so that's signed by all of them, um, and it's a poster that, from Comic-Con that I really love, but it can go somewhere else. <laughs> but I still don't have room for all of these. Like, those little ones I can put in little frames and just sort of, like, park in between and just make this... This looks nice and Noel right now, when it's all, like, perfect and even, but I could make it more chaotic and that would be fine. Just absorb it and... Like I could put one right there, and one right there, I could put some right there, and nope, these are staying. Like, I love these guys, so they're staying. Um, yeah, but I don't know where else I would put them, <laughs> but <laughs> I want to have them everywhere. So, yeah. So, all of that being said, I don't know if I'm going to tonight. I might, but what I'm actually going to do is cut this vlog off, because it's we got the sleeves done. The bodice is pretty much done. I just need to like sew this lining on. Um, but tomorrow my husband is leaving in the morning for a trip for all weekend, which means I have no plans. I have Friday night, I have Saturday, I have Sunday, and I have evening and Monday that I can go ahead and sew to my heart's delight. So I am hoping to finish this bad boy <laughs> this weekend. I don't know if I can because I need, I, I know I can't do the hem because I need to have mead the petticoats in order to do that but maybe I'll start working on it I don't know I'm not gonna commit to what I'm gonna what I'm gonna complete but I'm gonna really try so the next vlog should be like productivity city um which is what I'm hoping <sighs> but I still need to edit this video and I want to get it up either tonight or tomorrow morning so I think I'm just gonna stop go do that and then if I have time I'll do this um but I did get new toys that are good for everyone all of us and um I had really good mail wake I also had some, like, the sprinkler guys were supposed to come back today and they didn't come back. So today was kind of a mess. So I'm a little, like, about today. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if I could take a sewing disaster on this 18th century dress again today. Like, it would just make me cry. So I might go learn how to use my gimbal instead. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you're working on, how you're doing, what's going on with you. And I will see you guys next time. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye.